ਕਟ ਕਟ ਅੰਤਰ ਸਰਬ ਸਮਾਹੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਦਾਸ ਕਾ ਹਲਤ ਪਲਤ ਸਵਾਰੈ ਪਤਿਤ ਪਾਵਨ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਬਿਰਦ ਤੁਮਾਰੈ ਓ ਖਦ ਕੋਟ ਸਿਮਰ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਤੰਤ ਮੰਤ ਭਜਿਐ ਭਗਵੰਤ ਰੋਗ ਸੋਗ ਮਿਟੈ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਧਿਆਇ ਮਨ ਬਾਂਛਤ ਪੂਰਨ ਫਲ ਪਾਇ ਕਰਨ ਕਾਰਨ ਸਮਰਥ ਦਿਆਰ ਸਰਬ ਨਿਧਾਨ ਮਹਾ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਬਖਸ਼ ਲਿਏ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਆਪ ਸਦਾ ਸਦਾ ਇਕੋ ਹਰ ਜਾਪ ਸਜਨ ਸੱਚਾ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਸਿਰ ਸ਼ਾਹ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਾਹ ਜਿਸ ਪਾਸ ਬੈਠਿਆ ਸੋਹੀਐ ਸਬਨਾ ਦਾਵੇ ਸਾ ਗੋਂਡ ਮਹਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਤੂਪ ਦੀਪ ਸੇਵਾ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਅਨਿਕ ਬਾਰ ਬੰਧਨ ਕਰਤਾਰ ਤੂਪ ਦੀਪ ਸੇਵਾ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਅਨਿਕ ਬਾਰ ਬੰਧਨ ਕਰਤਾਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕੀ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਗਹੀ ਸਭ ਤਿਆਗ ਗੁਰ ਸੋ ਪਰਸਨ ਭਏ ਵੱਡ ਭਾਗ ਆਠ ਪਹਿਰ ਗਾਇਐ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਤਨ ਤਨ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕਾ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕੀ ਜਿੰਦ ਹਰ ਗੁਣ ਰਮਤ ਪਏ ਆਨੰਦ ਪਾਰ ਬ੍ਰਹਮ ਪੂਰਨ ਬਖਸ਼ੰਦ ਕਰ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਜਨ ਸੇਵਾ ਲਾਏ ਜਨਮ ਮਰਨ ਦੁਖ ਮੇਟ ਮਿਲਾਏ ਕਰਮ ਧਰਮ ਇਹ ਤਤ ਗਿਆਨ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗ ਜਪਿਐ ਹਰ ਨਾਮ ਸਾਗਰ ਤਰ ਬੋਹਿਤ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਚਰਨ ਅੰਤਰ ਜਾਮੀ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕਾਰਨ ਕਰਨ ਰਾਖ ਲਈਏ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਧਾਰ ਪੰਚ ਦੂਤ ਭਾਗੇ ਬਿਕਰਾਲ ਜੂਐ ਜਨਮ ਨਾ ਕਬਹੂ ਹਾਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਕਾ ਅੰਗ ਕੀਆ ਕਰਤਾਰ ਜੂਐ ਜਨਮ ਨਾ ਕਬਹੂ ਹਾਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਕਾ ਅੰਗ ਕੀਆ ਕਰਤਾਰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਾਜੀ ਨਵਾਜੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀਓ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਾਲ ਸਤਿਗੁਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਬਖਸ਼ੀ ਹੋਈ ਫਤਿਹ ਦੀ ਸਾਂਝ ਪਾਉਣੀ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਹੁਕਨਾਮਾ ਇਜ਼ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ 
ਸੱਚ ਕੰਨ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਹਮੰਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕੰਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਧੰਨ ਧੰਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਫਿਫਥ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਫਿਫਥ ਐਮਬੋਡੀਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਧੰਨ ਧੰਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਇਜ਼ ਪਲੇਸਡ ਇਨ ਧੰਨ ਧੰਨ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਓਨ ਅੰਗ 866 ਗੌਂਡ ਮਹਿਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾਂ ਤਨਤਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਹੈਸ ਕੰਪੋਜ਼ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਗੌਂਡ ਵਿਚ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਸ ਅ ਕੰਟੈਂਪਲੇਟਿਵ ਮੂਡ ਗੌਂਡ ਮੈਲੋਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ એનર્ਜੈਟਿਕ એનર્ਜੈਸਿਸ ਦੀ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਸਟਿਮੂਲੇਟਸ ਦੀ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬੀਜਨਸ ਦੀ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਵਿਦ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਧੂਪ ਦੀਪ ਸੇਵਾ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਅਨੇਕ ਵਾਰ ਬੰਧਨ ਕਰਤਾਰ ਫੋਰ ਮੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਨਰਸ਼ਰ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਹੋਲ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨ ਅਸੈਂਸ ਤੂਪ ਐਂਡ ਦੀਪ ਦੀਪ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਲੈਂਪ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਫੋਰ ਵਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਤੂਪ ਆਲਸੋ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨਸੈਂਸ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਫੋਰ ਵਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਰੀਲਸ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਲਿਟ ਅ ਲੈਂਪ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਹੈਵ to have incense or very aromatic environment true worship is when you serve the almighty lord your creator anek bar bandan kartar anek means countless many times bandan means to fold your hands ਡੰਡੋਤ ਬੰਧਨ ਅਨਕਬਾਰ ਸਰਬ ਕਲਾ ਸਮਰਥ ਡੋਲਨ ਤੇ ਰਾਖੋ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਕਰ ਹੱਥ ਸੋ ਬੰਧਨ ਇਸ ਬਾਈਂਡ ਯੋਰ ਹੈਂਡਸ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਕਾਊਂਟਲੈਸ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਆਈ ਫੋਲਡ ਮਾਈ ਹੈਂਡਸ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਰ it signifies that these hands are given to me by yourself these hands are bound to your will whatever you say these hands will do that's why when we come to gurdwara before we bow to guru granth sahib ji maharaj we fold our hands the objective is that whatever you say guru maharaj these hands will do the same so guru maharaj is inspiring us to pray to vaheguru that vaheguru this body is given to us by yourself the true worship is when you hand over your body back to the creator who has created the body utilize this body to serve the creator how do you serve the creator guru gives you the wisdom prab ki sharan gahi sab tyag sharan is sanctuary i have come to the sanctuary of the almighty god by forsaking everything many times when people meditate or worship visit the holy shrines visit the temples what are their intentions if you do statistics 99% of people come for their 
materialistic wants. Someone is praying for a job. Someone is praying for immigration. Someone is praying for children or safe journey to India. Now we are all misled. If our prayers are other than the prayer that Almighty God, you have given us this precious human life, precious opportunity, do not let this opportunity go in vain. We want to serve you this time. So you pray like you prayed in mother's womb. Where there was no protection, there was no sport except sport of Almighty God. Where the soul prayed to Almighty God that if you save me from this terrible womb, the experience I'm going through, I'm going to serve you. Maadi kukhde vich edi atma hai rabbage ardas kar di hai, simran kar di hai. Maat garab mein apan simran de, teh tum rakhan haare. Vaheguru, you make the soul to meditate in mother's womb and protect the soul. So simran, remembrance of God, protects a child in mother's womb, where mother can't even access the child. So Guru Maharaj is helping us to pray or make the prayer, the same prayer that we made in mother's womb. Prabhu ki sharan gahi, God, I have come to your sanctuary. Sab tyag. I understand now with Guru's wisdom everything in this world, what I see, what I feel is perishable, will come to an end. Almighty God, you are eternal. Now this wisdom comes from Guru Maharaj. When you look at the kings and emperors, they ruled for a few years and departed from the world empty-handed. My own friend, he became a millionaire at a very young age. When he passed away, when he left this world, everything he had was left behind. That made me think. This guy used to work so hard traveling from one country to the other country, running his business, multinational business. But one day he was snapped by the death upon God's order. Gawai ko ji la fir de. People sing God's praises. People remember God when God takes away a life. People remember God when God infuses life in the dust upon birth of someone. But this is all God's mysterious play, mysterious game. Gur Prasan, Gur So Prasan, Pahe Vadpag. When I had forsaken everything, my Guru was pleased. You know, when Pai Deya Singh Ji, he stood in front of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj and said, I apologize. You called for the head three times, but I was still, still thinking about my family. I was think, still thinking about my own body and my life. I was thinking, if I give my head away, there's nothing left. 
But when you call third time, I received the wisdom from Vaheguru that one day I have to leave. But Gurbani tells me that by handing over your body and soul to Guru, you will become eternal. Shabad mare, fir jeeva sadhi, ta fir maran na hoi. Now I am ready to die. Pella maran kabool, jeevan ki chhad aas, ho sapna ki rehen ka, tab ao humare paas. Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, he says that if you want to realize God, if you want to experience God, accept the death first. Pella maran kabool. Jeevan ki chad aas. Then you have to give up all the hopes of your jeevan, of your future. What you are going to do after retirement. You want to start the family. Then you want to have grandchildren. Forsake all those hopes. Ho sabna ki rehen ka. Become the feet dust of everyone. Which means consider yourself inferior to everyone. Humble yourself. Humility. Tab au hamare paas. Then only you come to me. Then I will help you to experience God. Amazing. That is why Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj instructed all the Sangat that they should do the Pangat first and then the Sangat. Pangat means they should all sit on the same level, have the langar, irrespective of their caste, creed, so that they can humble themselves. Even when Akbar, the emperor, came to see Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, he had to also follow the same instructions. He had to sit on the floor with other people who were from poor background. They were beggars. But they had come to see Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj. Ho sabna ki rein ka. You have to humble yourself to receive the blessing of Guru. Gur so prasann pae. So prasann means very pleased. Guru is very pleased with me now. Vad paag. And I am very, very fortunate. Ahat pahar gaya gobind. 24 hours. 8 watches of the day. Sing Lord's praises. Whilst you are at work, let your mind Speak language of God. Be compassionate to others. Be tolerant to others. Don't get involved in the rat race. Don't tread on someone's feet to get yourself promoted. Within your family, don't start competing with your own brothers and sisters and cause argument in the family. That's how you meditate on God. Otherwise, how is it possible to meditate on God or sing God's praises 24 hours? This is how you sing the praises. You create harmony wherever you are. Very, very amicable environment. You put a stop to arguments rather than falling into arguments. Where you see someone prospering, rather than feeling jealous, you pray for that person. Vaheguru, please bless this person with wisdom so he or she can also serve you. Amazing. By praying this way, you will get blessing four folds. You will be blessed. If someone is deprived, 
you go out to help that person, you will be blessed. Although you might think, I am giving away my money, I am suffering loss, but no. There is a hidden blessing when you help out someone. It may be your own enemy, the person who has been criticizing you all your life, never hesitate to help that person. There is even more blessing because you have exercised the divine virtue of forgiveness. Where there is forgiveness, there is God present there. Where there is tolerance, is God present there. It's quite amazing. This week, we went out in the city center and as part of the Guru Nanak mission, we were distributing the food. All the food finished. There were some late arrivals and these people looked really, really hungry. They wanted food. So I had a couple of, you know, pasta boxes stacked up in back of my car. So I took them out. I said, well, you take them away. Surprising thing is that one of the person who had two boxes in his hand, who had come to get the food, he stood there and I said to him, if you had your food already, can you give one box to the guy who has just come in? And this person, although he had come there to collect food, he had eaten his food, he gave both the boxes to the person who was late. I was amazed. And I said to this person, God abides in you. I can feel God present here. Where there is compassion, where there is tolerance, this person is ready to remain hungry himself, but he is giving away his food to another person who is more hungry. What a santok! So much patience. It's amazing. Hope we can learn from all these things which are happening around us. Always look at the positive things. When you focus on positive, positivity will come in your life. If you focus on negative things, look at this guy. He's not helping anyone. He's very nasty. Then negativity will come into your life. Always think positive. Always look at positive things which are happening around you. For example, we look at people. This person had Amrath, but doing all wrong things. This is negative thought. Why don't you look at people who have been blessed with the Amrat and they are doing good things? Why don't you look at people who are doing good things rather than looking at people who are doing bad things, who are evil? So there is another thought of wisdom. This is how you meditate on God 24-7. Aath pehar gaiya gobind tan tan prabka prab ki jind. 24 hours, you always think tan, my body, tan, my wealth, my belongings. They are all property of my creator. Prabhaki Jind, even my Jind, my soul, belongs to Almighty God. Rahav. That's the essence of the Shabbat. Hargun Ramat Pai Ananda. This way, Ramat means to chant. Chanting with your tongue, chanting with your mind. Praises of the Lord. Arm in bliss. Par Brahm Puran Bhakshand. Perfect Almighty Lord is forgiving, very bountiful, gives the bounties to other people, gifts to other people. Dinda de lende thak pahe. 
जुगा जुगंतर खाही खाए कर कृपा जन सेवा लाए Now those people who pray to Vaheguru, please engage us in your seva, in your service. Vaheguru becomes merciful and engages them in true service in the creation. Janam maran dukh mate milaye. Vaheguru puts an end to the misery of death and birth cycle and embraces such beautiful souls within himself. Karam taram eh tat gyan. Tat means a sense. Gyan means wisdom or knowledge. This is the ultimate knowledge. This is the essence. This is the best karam, best deed. And this is the best Taram, best religion. What is that? Sadh Sangh Japiya Harnam. In the company of the holy, where you remember formless God and you do meditation. That's the best action and the best religion. In Sukhni Sab Bani Guru Maharaj reveals, Sarab Taram Mai Sreshth Taram. Out of all the religions, the best religion is Harko Naam Jap Nirmalkan. When you speak like God, think like God, you speak God's language and act like divine. Nirmalkaram, immaculate deeds, you perform immaculate deeds by meditating upon God's name. When you meditate on God's name, you acquire God's name. You become like God. Your nature becomes like God. That's the purpose of meditation. So Sahaja Sangaji Guru Mahaj is helping us how to pray. Next time you come to the Gurdwara, next time you meditate, what are your intentions? Why you are meditating? The answer is, you're doing meditations so your sins can be erased and you can serve Almighty Lord truly. The promise you made to God in mother's womb that if I'm born safely, this time I'll serve you. Do that prayer. Sagar Tar Bohit Pravacharana you can swim across this sagar, the worldly ocean, by clinging on to God's feet, which implies following God's will. Antar jami prabhakaran karam. God is antar jami. God knows everyone's heart. Sare dinadi vaheguru janda. Vaheguru karana te karana. Vaheguru is the cause for every action. There are a lot of debates about EU referendum. It's all in God's will. When people will be more God-oriented, there will be peace. When God, people become corrupt, dishonest, power-hungry, there will be disturbance. There will be chaos. Everyone needs to be selfless. Think about people. Believe me, there is so much wealth, there is so much grain in this world, no one can be hungry. No one will be poor. It's because people who are hungry for wealth, they are stacking up all the wealth in their banks in secret places. They leave this world, leaving everything behind, buried in the ground, left in the banks. Everyone needs to be selfless and thinking about serving God's creation. Rakh liye apne kirpa God has protected me, saved me, 
by showering his mercy. Panch doot paade bikral. Bikral means hideous, frightening. The five passions which were taking me away from God, distracting me from God, they have been subdued, they have been controlled. Panch doot to the vasa kite kal kantak maria juwe janam na kabuhar. Now I'm not going to lose my life in gamble here because Maya is very tempting. It tempts and people lose their life in gamble. But now I'm protected and saved by Almighty God. I'm not, I'm not going to gamble away my life. Nanak ka ang kiya kartar. Ang means part of the body. The kartar, the creator, has made Nanak his own Ang, which means God has owned me now. It's like Pai Lehna Ji, who served Guru Nanak Dev Ji with devotion, and Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj renamed him from Pai Lehna to Guru Angad. When Guru Nanak Dev Ji said to Pai Lehna, Pai Lehna, why, why don't you go back to your family? And Pai Lehna said, I have nowhere to go. At that point, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj said, you have handed over your body and soul to the Guru. You are part of the Guru. Tu Guru da Anga. Tu Guru Anga da. So we want to be part of Almighty God, our Creator. That's the only way we can have bliss and anand in our life. So Pulan Chokadi Mafi, Pyarna Fatadi Sanjpani, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.